In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at Men of the Docks by George Bellows at the National Gallery in London. Welcome to Art, Culture and Books with me, Anthony King. As always, I take all the photos and videos myself on location, ensuring that you get an up-close and personal view of the fascinating world of art and culture. Now, I'll be popping in and out with commentary as this video progresses, but for now, let's take a close-up look. Men of the Docks by George Bellows was painted in 1912. I remember when the painting was sold to the National Gallery in 2014 for $25.5 million and many times afterwards going to see it. It took a while to grow on me, but eventually did. It must be worth two to three times that valuation now. Men of the Dock stands at 114 by 161 centimeters and it's an oil painting on canvas. Placed alongside the East River, the piece offers a perspective across the partly frozen water to the towering structures of Lower Manhattan. Noteworthy elements include a shaded warehouse on the left and the substantial hull of an ocean liner on the right, forming two impactful diagonals, converging at the sunlit Manhattan skyline. Viewed from a lower angle, the warehouse, liner and skyline shape three sides of a visual box, with the fourth side partially defined by a group of port workers presumably waiting the unloading of the liner. The placement of these workers against the backdrop of the Manhattan skyline introduces an iconic contrast, juxtaposing the vibrant core of modern capitalism with the stark reality of those supporting it. George Wesley Bellows, born in August 1882 in Columbus, Ohio, and died January the 8th, 1925, left a significant mark as an American realist painter. Acknowledged by the Columbus Museum of Art as the most acclaimed American artist of his generation, Bellows depicted urban life in New York City with boldness. His scenes captured the rawness and disorder of working class existence, offering a satirical lens on the upper classes. commentator for the craftsman praised men of the docks as being free of affection of soul or technique, presenting a scenario with a grounded solidity, maintaining a connection to reality from an everyday perspective. You've been joined today by Anthony King, but now it's your turn. What do you think of Men of the Docks by George Bellows at the National Gallery in London? Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your comments, thoughts and views below. Join my Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes content. You can find out more about me on my website, anthony-king.com, where you can support me by purchasing one of my books.